Comic-Con has taken over downtown San Diego, especially here at its epicenter, the convention center, right on Harbor Drive. But less than a mile down the road, some Barrio Logan businesses felt like they were being left out. So they created ChicanoCon to celebrate Latino popular culture. It's from this roof of tops from our homes here. We can see the convention center. <laughs> David Favela owns one of Barrio Logan's newest businesses, Border X Brewing. He's hosting the first ever ChicanoCon. Favela says Barrio Logan has a rich artistic heritage that's being overlooked. There's no effort that we're aware of, at least, of some integration or some outreach or something to our community. Barrio Logan artist Mario Chacon says the institution of Comic-Con isn't deliberately excluding the Chicano community. But I think there's also a legacy of racism. There's a, a, a legacy of bias. That, that's pervasive, you know, conscious or unconscious, and that prevents people from looking outside of their very narrow perspective. Favela says since the Chicano Park protests in 1970, Barrio Logan has held on to its history of fighting for recognition. And it literally took Chicano Park here, you know, and the protests that happened there to say, hey, you know, we are here, uh, we, you can't walk over us, and we are a community, and we're not going away. Favela says today the fight has evolved. I like to joke around, call it Chicano 2.0. <laughs> One where we're moving beyond political statements and we're moving into economic statements. For Favela, Barrio Logan is starting to flex its economic muscle to join the Comic-Con fund. To be honest, I, there, there's no animosity towards Comic-Con. We think it's a wonderful institution. I, I would love to work with them. Chacon sees a big future with Comic-Con. I think Comic-Con has a huge potential to not only be inclusive, but to help develop the artistic potential of people of color. Chicano-Con is on both Saturday and Sunday, starting at around 2 at the Border X Brewery, just south of Chicano Park on Logan Avenue. Matt Bowler, KPBS News.